and thank you again for joining us this morning for News Nation Live. In our missing series this morning, we are focusing our attention on the disappearance of a young engineering student from California. He was also a national racquetball champion. His name is Dane Elkins, and he has now been missing for more than two years. Dane disappeared in December of 2020, and his mother believes he had a psychotic break, pandemic-related potentially, and has been living off the grid, maybe with the homeless. Dane's story will be featured in an upcoming episode of Paramount's Never Seen Again, but his mom, Deborah, has launched an intense social media campaign. She is doing everything she can to make sure her son is seen again. And in a moment, Deborah will be joining us live to talk more about the case. But first, here's Dane's story. This is the last known video of Dane Elkins. How much of the knowledge that we know actually comes from actual knowledge? A rambling post the day he disappeared. He did one last Snapchat and told us that the government was after him and our family. That is when we knew something was really wrong. Before he vanished, Elkins was a 21-year-old engineering student at UC Santa Cruz, a black belt in karate, and a racquetball champion, winning 23 junior national titles in both doubles and singles competition. His coach, Cliff Swain. That was an amazing pleasure to work with him. True gentleman, amazing manners. A uh, super hard worker. Off the court, the funny family guy making silly music videos with his siblings. His family meant everything to him. They weren't just his siblings, they were all his best friends. But then the pandemic hit, forcing people into seclusion, and his mother noticed a change. He would be laying in his bed all day, and then he would disappear into the night. Left our house, and told us he was gonna stay with friends, but he was actually living in his car. On December 21st, 2020, Dane called his mom from the highway saying it wasn't safe to come home. One of the last things Dane said to me was, it's not safe, mom. Your life is in danger, mom. There's targets on you and there's more targets on dad. Police found Dane's car along a mountainous section of highway a flat tire, his wallet, cell phone, and computer still inside. He left everything traceable in his car. It's a scenario which research suggests may be more common since the pandemic. I interact with families all the time who have a loved one who's basically disappeared or partially disappeared. They're in touch occasionally. Bethany Yeiser runs a nonprofit to help people with schizophrenia after her own psychotic episode and living homeless for four years. I had had a wonderful childhood growing up with a loving family and I completely cut them off. I, I really believe if I hadn't been hospitalized for schizophrenia, I would have never gotten in touch with them again. In Dane's case, there have been a series of reported sightings, first in Bakersfield, then Mojave, then Northern California, where a woman says she bought him food at this Taco Bell in Oakdale. He was a younger gentleman, probably in his early 20s, um, nice looking but a little scruffy because he, he, like he'd been traveling on the road for a while. He was very polite and he said thank you and he was well-spoken. The most recent sighting in April 2022 on the Santa Cruz Wharf, where a young mother and her son were approached by a man who looked like Dane. He was super nice. He seemed a little scared of the government. So I gave him a $20 bill and as I was leaving, I heard him order a water and taco. Deborah Elkins is confident it was her son. All the credible sightings, Dane accepted food and he was very polite and kind. And he specifically asked for bottled water, which he loves bottled cold water. But in two years, no verifiable photos or video and no contact from Dane. His mom now focused on the kindness of strangers and social media to help find her son. I am hoping everybody is keeping an eye out for him and I hear about it in real time so I could get to him before he leaves the area. 
if you are able to take a discreet photo or video so we can identify him, that will be very helpful. Dane's younger brother, Cody, now following in his brother's champion footsteps and hoping they'll get to play together one day. I never stood a chance as a kid, but you know, I'd like, I'd like him to train for a couple months and play me and see what happens. You know, it, would be, it would be fun to play. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.